thing I always tell students is to, you know, always keep your options open. Okay, I do have a, a confession to make. <sighs> the video on this got accidentally um, deleted. So that's gone. But um, as you can see from this, there's a new a new set. So the video on this is gone, but that's okay. I bought another console that's even more interesting than that. That one's actually fighting me with the FM again. Um, this is another console. Not the one I was talking about earlier, but another one I bought. To you know, make sure that we are safe and the public is safe. And you know, right now we... It's a... Uh, 1938 RCA All Wave uh, radio, and I've gone through and somebody previously had recapped it, and I just kind of finished it off. And it's not done yet; it still needs quite a bit of work. Um, it needs a couple of replacement tubes. The audio output is exceptionally weak. Um, the short, uh, the short wave. Short band works, AM works, but the long wave short wave band does not. Uh, and I don't know why it just oscillates. Uh, it's been recapped except the filter. The filter is good. It's been replaced before. It's got all the original RCA tubes in it, which are all are are all a little weak. Uh, the original cord, you know. Even this works. The grill cloth has got a hole in it, you know, but I've, I've gone through and recapped it, or finished recapping it. And the next process is to diagnose the shortwave and longwave band, and uh, pop a new 6F6 in it, and finish, uh, you know, restoring the insides. After I had to replace a whole bunch of wiring, too. Oh, and restring it, and then it'll be good to go, and just kind of finish off the cabinet and stuff. Uh, that's not the main focus of our video today. It's actually something I took a 100 mile, 120 mile round trip to go get. And that's a, uh, this Philco here. I believe it's a, um, 50T1403. Uh, and this is, this is something that was 40 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. And I just had to have it. I've always wanted a roundy tabletop set, and it was about an hour away, uh, so it came into my life. Like I said, it semi-worked, um, and he was wrong for a little bit until I got to tinkering with it, and then he was right. It's got all original capacitors and stuff, but it had it's had every single tube except like three replaced. And it's also on the original CRT, which checked fair. Very fair. It's a little weak. High voltage is low. Capacitors are whacked out. It was actually, when I started testing it, I put a brightener on it because I couldn't see anything on the screen. And I saw just something very faint. So I went to check the high voltage and it was about 2 kilovolts. So, yeah. Um, I let it warm up for probably 15-20 minutes, and the high voltage came up to about six, six and a half, and it just kind of stabilized there. Power switch is intermittent too. No channel knob, so I just stuck this on there, and it, it kind of works. Watch the high voltage come up. About six kilovolts. And that's the vertical you're hearing in the audio. It's got a fair picture. Amazingly bright for six kilovolts, but if I turn the brightness up, you can see that's contrast maxed out. Turn the brightness up, it kind of blooms.
can see the vertical wall whacked out too. You can basically stick your finger through the lines up there and that's just bouncing around and horizontal works. Vertical works. But 40 bucks, I haven't done anything to it. I just kind of pulled the chassis out and took a look at it, tested all the tubes, and they're all like weak. I marked the ones that were bad. Which that, so the vertical oscillator tube here. And uh, bad 6AG5 in the tuner. Uh, weirdly, this uses a 6AQ5 6 AQ as the vertical output, and a 6V6 as the video output. Um, some odd odd tubes, it uses Loctals too. But we're running about 117, 115 volts. I guess we could hook, this, hook the signal generator up to it and see what we can get. The focus control was all whacked out too. Somebody, the guy said he'd been in it before, and he was just kind of, just kind of messing around with it. Oh my God, that's a little sharper. But yeah, CRT's weak. It checks probably. It, it checked in the questionable range on my. My crappy rim CRT tester. But let's hook up the signal generator and see if we can try to dial something in. That one screwed up looking picture. Don't know where the other half of the screen went. Tuning works. Oh, I didn't like that. some weird shit happening with the horizontal. Hm. Got a crazy ass picture there. I wonder why the screen is like, maybe it's the ion trap. Let me move the ion trap. Mm, it's not the ion trap. Best thing about this thing, it's literally all black beauties, too. I looked under the chassis. 1949, I think. Oh, wait, that's the wrong. Mine seems to be made in... In, uh, 50... Actually, this may be a replacement, because this, this says 52, and most of the tubes in here say 50. I know they weren't making these in 52. That's too late for this. It might be a factory replacement Philco CRT, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like the original. Oh, I guess it could be a rebuild. Cause it's got two different Philco tags in here. And that one says 50. 30 of 50, and this one says 52. So yeah, it could this could be a rebuild. It probably is. Um I 
filters aren't getting hot. Anyway, it's just kind of a real quick assessment of kind of new sets and stuff that I've bought. Paid way too much for. the computer. Okay. For Southern Illinois Wireless Internet isn't a superhero in real life, but they might as well be. So the next time your computer's on the fritz, WLS, that's still on the air, I think. Who are reliable, and so is WGBF. Trustworthy, smart, and locally owned at the... So yeah, cool. This is a cool radio. It's probably, it's gonna get restored since it, it's got the full shortwave. Oh, you can see me. W253CR Marion now at 98.5 FM and the legendary That's our uh... Breaking news this hour from Telhall.com. I'm John Scott. President Trump's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, says there was a significant amount of voter fraud in the presidential election earlier this month. Because it's not a singular voter fraud in one state. This pattern repeats itself in a number of states. Almost exactly the same pattern. Big cities controlled by Democrats were specific problem areas. Giuliani and President Trump's campaign legal team held a news conference in Washington. Today, that's on the team's legal efforts to contest the results in several battleground states. Also at townhall.com, Republicans and Democrats alike say President Trump remains the wild card when it comes to crafting an omnibus spending bill by year's end. With a December 11th deadline looming, both parties are hoping they can pass and President Trump sign a bill to keep the government up and running, avoiding a shutdown. Republican leader McConnell optimistic the president may accept a $1.4 trillion package. Both parties wary of an embarrassing failure this thing had fearing whoever gets the, the mouse nest and the tuner. In That's where control of the Senate hinges now on a pair of runoff elections set for January 5th. My Capitol Hill correspondent Bob Agnew. Los Angeles County's coronavirus cases are rising so fast they could average more than 4,000 a day within three weeks. That would leave the nation's most populous county on the cusp of a lockdown and a curfew order. If daily cases rise to 4,500 or hospitalizations top 2,000, the county will then impose a three-week lockdown and curfew. In the UK, a key researcher at the University of Oxford says scientists expect to report results from a late-stage trial of their COVID. Seventy-eight. Holiday rush is almost means it's the perfect time to get your home decked out. If you haven't tried Blinds.com, now is the time. With huge deals all month long, you can shop early before Black Friday. Save up to 40% site wide at Blinds. I'll do a video on blind. this once it's Save done. Interior shutters, even outdoor shades. I mean, it's if, if you want, I'll I'll do a video on it if we get enough interest to do a video on it while I'm repairing it because you know I really it's hard to film these videos while you're repairing them duct tape is still on there when I bought it um let me uh let me get let me get my my audio device this has a uh, audio input for like a TV I like could uh, a 630 TS or a uh, phonograph. So let's try that out. Now I looked this thing up on Nostalgia Air and it says it has an output of 2.2 .2 watts. And with a weak 6F6, it's probably about 1 watt. So here's a 6550. I'm gonna shove in there.
It's a lot louder. Maybe what 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 do I shove in there? Here's this another six F six. WLS is stuck. That's a very big mile yes. download number. Yes. It's uh, extraordinary. B is shortwave. Doubt there's anything today. Boss scag is up there. I got I got a whole lot of stuff last night. How th does that look out of place, man? Baker Street. No, no one likes you, Facebook. Oh, you know what would be really good? If we got Honky Cat in here. There you go. Yeah, it's got... It runs these tubes quite hot. But it's got all the original RCA tubes. RCA Victor tubes. This one's probably gonna have to get replaced. Even the rectifier. Six SH seven back there, that's an RCA two. Six K seven, that's an original. And so is this one here. Get 
Doesn't sound half bad with a 6550 in it. Let's try a, a 6F6. This one's a known good one. This this, this one's reading about 65, 68%. Um, that, the one that was in it read about 40, and it took forever to climb up to. Uh, so let's, let's pop. Dang, that sucker gets hot. Pop our Firestone in here. Watch the lights dip. I was using this in my radio inside forever until it got weak. Less audio and less bass. Uh, let's try a 6L6 and we'll try a Try a couple different tubes, a 6W6 and a 6V6. And what the, what the hell, we'll try a 6K6 too. This is just already garbage video already, so let's just run it out. Uh, it runs the plate on this about 300 volts, so I'm pretty sure that 6W6 is going to red plate. So let's get our audio. That's our 6F6. We'll try an EL34, or otherwise known as a 6L6. Our 6550 is the winner so far, but it's a little out of place in this thing. Let's write the tube filament on this. is wonky. Really, you gotta keep it. There we go. Well, that's actually quite loud. I'm going to switch songs, so... I think that's our, our winner. That's about 6 watts of output. Let's try a 6V6. This is a Delco. I believe this one's slightly weak also. This one's shorted, I remember. 6W6. RCA. This is like the weaker version of the 6L6. sounds good. It's got less bass than that. Uh, 
that's, that'll probably be the one that goes in there. Because that, that, that one looks out of place a little bit too. Here's a 6K6. Let's do some player. Start a free trial now. Yep, buy YouTube Premium. Not a lot of sound out of this. It's gonna red plate if I leave it in there too long. It's got like a maximum operating voltage of like 80 volts, or no, no, like 120 volts on the plate, and that's put 300 on it. Here's our winner, 6W6. Alright, so, 6F6, the uh, the worst of the bunch, those sounded tinny and not a lot of output. Uh, the best one is the 6, 6550, second best is the, uh, the Tesla EL34, which is also a 6L6, third best is the 6W6, fourth best and pretty much on par with the 6W6 is the 6K6. So, there you go. If you wanna, if you wanna use a, a, a tube in your in your old radio that will provide you with sound and bass, uh, a six six K six six L six or six W six. Anyways, thanks for watching. Till next time.